Hi everybody. So this is uh, another video of doing the top skins on the left wing. My friend Ted and I are here. We're having a quick lunch. He's having a sandwich. We're talking a little business. So yeah, the top skins are not really anything too terribly difficult. The pages entire, you know, the the chapters all of four pages. The the only real hard part is making sure that you countersink for the doublers in the right places uh, that all the ribs are the rib flanges are nice and straight thus the flanges are straight and contact the uh, top skins very well and that you rivet in the right pattern to avoid bubbling or oil canning I mean oil canning is not supposed to be that big of a deal if you do get an oil can spot, and hopefully I won't have any, so I can't show you. Uh, but if you do get any oil canning, all you have to do is, apparently, you just ding it with a hammer so that it's permanently not oil canning, and then you fill it full of Bondo. So, so if you ever, ever have, if you were planning on having a completely polished aluminum vans, uh, that would not work for you. I can't. I've got too many damn smileys. Well, not smileys, sorry. Smileys are for the dome head rivets. I've got a few mm, creases, a couple little bends. So doing the one note about doing all of the rivets on the wing walk doubler areas. So those are the four ribs, and they're pretty close together. Thankfully, I've got... Uh, I don't have large hands, but I've got the size just underneath that. And uh, my hand fits, but it's got, I've got a nice small bucking bar, and that's what's important. Having a small bucking bar is key. If I had a big bucking bar, I don't know if I could contort my hand to get it around there in the right direction. Another thing, to, uh, and this is really a note to self, <coughs> the uh, instructions have the full layouts of both skins and each size of every rivet. So, one small thing, not every rivet size that Vans calls out for will be perfect. Uh, remember, the rule is when, a, when a, uh, a rivet sticks through a hole before you go and look where the um, shop head's going to be, that it should stick out 1.5 times longer than the width of the rivet. So if the just hypothetical sizes, so if it's a, an, an inch wide, it should be one and a half inches long sticking out. Obviously, we're not going to rivet anything that size, but you get the point. Uh, so some of the ones, especially like near the edge, near the edge that calls for three and a halves and fours, because uh, we have nut plates, so we're doing nut plates on the end here. Well, we found that those were too short. And there's nothing wrong with the skins. We didn't make a mistake. It's just we felt when we were doing them that it would be, uh, it needed to be bigger. So what we did instead was used four and a halves and, uh, or fours and four and a halves and worked perfectly fine. So we're pretty much done. The only thing that we have left to do is the seam where the inboard and the outboard, uh, skins come together. That's the only section we have left. After that, and that will be the end of this chapter, and after that we will proceed to the leading edge and then happy things. So I uh, will see you soon.